This video is brought to you by Triple Sleeve TCG. Check out their website at triplesleevetcg.com. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I'm Richard. We got another Gold Paladin deck profile for you guys today. It's Blazing Lion Platinum Ezel with Bluish Flame Liberator Percival. So we got like a blazing blue flame theme going on here. And I'm just gonna get right into it. So since Gurgen and Percival can't be played together, you can still play Percival with other decks, so today is full-on Percival with uh, with all the Ezel stuff, so let's get started. Starter is, uh, it's going to be Kirf, just to match the theme. We're not running Bowman to Garrett, so we don't really care about, you know, having Kirf in the soul. It's just here for aesthetics, but you can run pretty much any of the Gold Paladin starters you want, so I like Kirf, because, you know, Ezel deck. Starting off with grade threes, four copies of Blazing Lion Platinazel. So Platinazel's skill is act, counterblast one. Um, this unit's first drive check is changed to uh, a skill, which is you look at the top two cards of your deck, choose one, uh, it gets called to a rear guard circle, the other one gets placed into the trigger zone, and then its trigger activates if it's a trigger. Uh, if you have two or more grade threes in the soul, it goes for the second check or more. So, two grade threes in soul, you do it for both twin drives. So, first check, look at top two cards, pick a trick, pick a card, goes trigger zone, one gets called. Second check, same thing again, top two, you know, pick a trigger, call a card. So basically, it's essentially looking at the top four and calling two triggers. That's the way I like to think of it. <laughs> and also, you get a unit out of it. So, it's nice, fills the board. You pick your triggers, it's it's pretty cool. So, decent skill overall, and I think, you know, Platinum can make good use of uh, Percival in this deck. Speaking of which, next up is four copies of Bluish Flame Liberator, Percival. So Percival's first skill is, excuse me, uh, continuous, all of your units on additional circles, so Excel markers get 5K. So if you write it, it's not terrible, but not the best skill. Second skill is, then or rear, when it's placed, if your vanguard is great through or greater, count plus one, discard a card from your hand. Get an imaginary gift to excel, search your deck or drop zone for an Oath Liberator Aglaveil, call it, search your deck shuffle, and you can only use this ability with card name, same card name once per turn. So the best part about this card is where it says it's placed. So it's going to be placed from hand, so if you use... Platinum will skill as you're looking through the top two cards and you find Percival in one of them, you can call it, place a trigger, activate the trigger, you know, if you get one effects on Percival or wherever else you want. Uh, and then after resolving the trigger, you can then go into Percival's skill before you do your second check, you know, because it's place. So placeability happens before you continue on to the second check. So then, you know, you get your marker, um, call Aglaville out, so now you're deck thinning, and you draw a card, so, you know, then you proceed on to the second check. So, I think that's pretty dope, that you can basically kind of interrupt your checks with by using the on-place effects, and, you know, thinning out your deck and such forth. Also building a board, and getting Aglaville out, which is nice. So, I think these two combo really well together in that regard. And so, continuing on to the grade threes, we are running two copies of Incandescent Lion Blonde Ezel. Similar reason as I run in my Gurgit deck, it's there for the Wonder Ezel Superior Ride. Um, you really don't want to sit on this Blonde Ezel at all during the game, so, because <laughs> it, it doesn't really do much. Um, it's Axe Skill, so if you have Bowman and Gareth and Kirf in the Soul, you can Soul Blast Kirf. Or, and then if you have Bowman and Gareth on rear, ride this from your hand. And then inside the skills, when it swings, uh, you call a card from your hand to rear guard circle. So that can be helpful. Maybe if you, you know, early game rush, go into Blonde Ezel, you have cards that can proc by being called by card abilities. So you can swing a Blonde, call Dindre and Berengaria, or just call a, an Aglaveil, you know, just to be more aggressive. So in regard for early game, it's pretty decent. Late game, not so much but uh, helps fill grade threes in the soul. So yeah, two Blondezel, and lastly, two Sagamore. 
Sagamore skill, when it's placed from hand, Soul Blast 1, draw a card, then call a card. So good for filling the board, procking off cards that need to be called by card abilities, etc. So Sagamore has always been a good card. Alright, next up is Grade 2s. So we got four copies of Oath Liberator Aglaveil. So Aglaveil's skill is when it's placed, uh, Vanguard Circle, Canvas 1, look at top three cards, call one, the rest go to the bottom of the deck. So it's a good ride. Um, there's not a lot of grade 2s in this deck, so your two ride options are either the one that superior rides or the one that helps you fill your board. So you have two good ride targets, which is always nice. The other skill is when it attacks, you put a rear guard into your soul, uh, it gets 10k, and at the end of that battle you return this to your hand. So, important thing about uh, how this works is, let's say, you know, somewhere earlier in the game, let's say if you rode to Blonde Ezel, and with Blonde Ezel and your, you know, you superior road from Wonder Ezel, you call Percival. Percival, you do, you know, Percival's skill, you call out Aglavale. So now you can swing, swing, and with Aglavale, you can suck Percival into the soul that you, you know, call to call out Aglavale, bounce. And then the next turn, you ride Platinozel. And now look at that. You have two grade threes in the soul, and you're already good to go. So that's basically one of the fun ideas of what you want to do is when you get into Blondezel, you want to have a Percival in hand. You'll get the Aglavale through Percival, and then you just kind of turbo out through that way. Even if you don't get the Blondezel, being able to suck up grade threes, and then the following turn, have the grade threes ready for the turn that you want to go into Platinum and kind of go full ag aggressive with it. Uh, Aglavale helps sets that up, so. Four Aglavale is what you want to run. <laughs> and since it can be searched from drop and deck, it's just overall a great card. Next up, four copies of Flame, Wind, Lion, Wonder, Ezel. Uh, superior Ride, Prox off card abilities, really good card also. So what Wonder Ezel's first skill is Act, Vanguard Circle, Soul Blast 1. Retire a Howl on your rear, search deck for Blonde Ezel, and ride it. Other skill is when it's placed, you call a card from your hand or rear. So this is good with Platinum Ezel as well, because if you look at your top two, call this, trigger, you can use Wonder Ezel's skill uh, in the middle of your drive checks to call it another card from your hand. So you can call, you guessed it, Percival from your hand <laughs> if you want. Um, important thing is, um, I believe how order works is, uh, since they're being placed at the same time, the Wonder Ezel being placed here, and let's say you triggered Percival, um, I believe before you resolve, and this goes to your hand, uh, you have to resolve, um, Wonder Ezel's skill before this goes into your hand. So I will double check on that, but I'm pretty sure in terms of timing, that's how it goes. I don't think it just sits, goes into standby, wait for check, then you go and activate its ability. I think the trigger stays, and then you wait for Wonder Rezzle, do Wonder Rezzle, then put the trigger in your hand from the trigger zone. Pretty sure that's how it works, but if I'm wrong, then what you can do is wait to put this in your hand, then activate Wonder Rezzle, and then call it. But I'm pretty sure that's not how it works. But yeah, Wonder Rezzle is good in that regard. Get your abilities off like Sagamore does, so really good grade two. Lastly, for grade twos, yes, there's only nine grade twos. One copy of Knight of Strong Favors, Berengaria. So, using it for the counter charge, it's when it's placed by a card ability, perform one of the abilities below, and we're just doing the Soul Blast counter charge. The other one is Counter Blast 2 Soul Charge. Don't need that. So, yeah, consistency. There was space in the deck for one extra card, so teched in a Berengaria for, you know, obvious things. Use Platinazel, look at top two, look, a Berengaria, call it. And called it Soul Blast Counter Charge. So now you have a beat stick and you counter charged. So why not? Consistency is good. So that was it for the grade twos onto the grade ones. Pretty obvious choice here is going to be Dawning Knight Gorbaduck at four. Uh, during your turn, if you call two or more things, Vanna Rear gets 5k. Other ability is like the other grade three searchers, it's when it's placed from hand. Look at top five, search a grade three, add it to your hand. 
if you added a card, discard a card, and then afterwards you shuffle. Um, yeah, so we run 12 grade 3s, I believe, so there's a lot of targets that you have to go with here. So searching out Percival is always great because you just want to keep seeing this card repeatedly throughout the game because getting Excel markers, getting draws, filling your board with um, Platinezel is great. And, you know, even searching a, a Sagamore can be good. Um, the other thing, too, that you can always do if you find a Platinezel, just discard the Platinezel in there. You deck thinned. So there's a lot of targets to work with, so Gorba deck, I believe, is a guaranteed four of. Plus an extra 5k is nice, you know? Call this as a beat stick, 13k, not bad. Um, good booster too, put it behind Van. Um, now that Platinazzle, which was really just swinging for 20, is now 25. That's a pretty good column, so. Gorbiduck is really good. Get your Gorbiducks. Next up, because we are running Wonderazzle for the Superior Ride, Crimson Lion Beast Howl. And this time it actually does work on the Vanguard you want to sit on, unlike Gurgit, so. At the end of the battle, it boosts. If your vanguard is Ezel in its name, you kind of lost one. Move it to soul, draw a card, then call a card. So same thing applies here. Maybe um, if you're on Platina, you swing with the rear guard first, use its skill, move this to soul, draw a card, call Percival. Now you use Percival's skill to search out your Aglavail, and then, you know, you got a board, and then you swing with Platina and do the skills, and you call more things. So there's a lot of things that you can do here during your battle phase to maximize your number of attacks here. So Howl is good, and since you're obviously counterblasting a lot, having the extra counter charge with Dindre and Berengaria comes in handy, so you want to keep that in mind. But it's also mostly there for the superior ride from Blondezel. So it's pretty good. Next up for grade ones... Kind of obvious thing here is the Dindrains. So listener to Dindrain at four. When placed by a card ability, you soul boss one. You can either draw a card or counter charge. If you counter charge, you get 3k. So pretty much mostly going to go for the counter charge here, but you know, you never know how much damage you can really work with, so maybe you'll draw some cards. So it's always nice to have a card that just gives you resources. That was it for the normal units. Now we're on to the trigger zone. Um, this deck pretty much needs fronts, uh, yeah, I kind of have to admit, because it's lacking in a lot of power. None of the units other than Aglavale gain power, so you really need to make use of the front triggers as much as you can. So, Platinazzle, Drive Checks, see a front trigger in the top two you're going to put in the trigger zone, pretty much helps fix your board for the turn. You see a second front, even better, but... Um, you really do need the fronts. The crits don't really do much in this deck. Um, you know, your opponent gets a damage trigger, maybe your field gets shut down. That whole front row can't even swing anymore that you just built. So that's the only diminishing thing I'll say about this deck is you pretty much need the fronts for the most part. So, yeah, it's sad, but it's true. You can run crits. I would say maybe do, like, three crits. You know, try that out. Um, but I'll just to be safe, stick with the fronts. Uh, next up for triggers, draw PGs are always good. Run your draw PGs. Um, Sentinel, win place, protect your vanguard, blah, blah, blah. And last but not least, of course, every deck usually tends to have these four copies of a heal trigger. So, Similia heals because aesthetic and, you know, OG heal. Cool. So that's pretty much it for the deck. Um, I kind of already explained the general idea of the combos here is that what you want to really be doing is going with Wonder Ezel. Wonder Ezel, you then retire the Howl that you called from your hand, which then gets you the Blonde Ezel, which then hopefully you also have a Percival in hand. So the ideal opening hand, you want to basically be like a random grade one, and these three is like your ideal go-to hand right from the get-go, and then somewhere down the line you draw into this. So the ideal perfect hand is basically looks like, not this, the ideal opening hand would look like this, so you can get a grade three search out of it, well, the ride, but 
your hand opens up like this, you're basically good for the rest of the game. Um, that's not always the case, so there's always going to be um, consistency issues. You might have to write Aglavel instead. It might take some time to build with those great threes in the soul, but, you know, that's Vanguard. But there's a game plan for this deck, and that's pretty much it, is just go on the Blazing Lion and hope you can get triggers, because <laughs> there's not really else the deck can really do. But, you know, it's a good deck that you can run four copies of Percival, and Percival basically amps up any gold paladin deck for the most part. So this is what I got for you guys. If you're more of a Ezel centric guy, you want to play some more Ezel decks, this is the deck for you, in my opinion. Thanks again for watching. Hope you all enjoyed. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, leave them in the comment section below. And I hope you're all staying safe and staying healthy. Thanks again, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.